Next up, another practice problem with functions. So this one involves something called a pangram. Not a palindrome, not a tangram, but pangram. And a pangram is a sentence that contains every letter of the alphabet. The most famous one, at least in English, is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So there is at least one A, one B, one C, all the way through Z in this sentence. That doesn't mean there's only one A and only one B. There just has to be at least one. Quick side note, there is such a thing as a perfect pangram where each letter is only used one time, but in English, apparently it's impossible unless you use abbreviations like PhD and GQ. So we're not worried about those. We're focusing on a traditional pangram where each letter can be used more than once. So quick brown fox, uh, what else? Sphinx of black quartz, judge my vow. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. So I'd like for you to write a function called isPangram, which accepts a sentence. We can assume it is a string. You don't need to check to see if it's a number or anything like that. And it should return true or false, depending on whether that input string does in fact contain every letter in the English alphabet. So A, B, C, all the way through Z. And it should not care about casing. So as an example, this string right here, the five boxing wizards jump quickly. This is a pangram. It does include every letter. It's an uppercase T at the beginning, not a lowercase T. It should still return true. So you don't need to manually check. Does it contain uppercase T? Does it contain lowercase T? You can get around that pretty easily. And then here's an example where it's almost the same sentence, but it's missing the L and the Y at the end. So it does not have every letter. It returns false. Okay, so pause, give it a shot if you'd like, and here's my attempt. I'll define a function called isPangram, and it takes, how about sentence, or phrase, str, string, and then what we need to do essentially is loop over every letter in the alphabet and check if that letter is in sentence. The naive approach would be if sentence, and then we have multiple ways to check for uh, the existence of a character, we could do index of, and we wanna make sure it's not equal to negative one. So we could do that and then do it for B and C and D and E, and our code would be quite long. So instead, we can do it dynamically using a loop. But how do we loop over every character in the alphabet? Aside from creating an array from scratch and putting every letter in there as a string, an easier way, in my opinion, is to just loop over a string. So we still have to type every character, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. We have it now in a single string, and we can loop over this. You could put this in a variable, or we could just do for let, let's go with character of A, B, C, D to Z. Just to make sure it works, we can console.log character we do need to use a for of or a regular for loop that would work with an i. It's just annoying to deal with the index if we don't need to. We'll just use each individual character. Let's try running it. Is pangram. And we do get every letter. Okay, so that's working. Now we just want to check if that letter is in sentence. And as soon as we find one that is not in the sentence, we want to return false. That means it's not a pangram. It just takes one letter not being there for the whole thing to return false. So we could use index of if sentence dot index of character. Remember index of returns negative one if it can't find that character. So if it's equal to negative one, we could return false. And then where do we put the return true? All the way after the entire loop. If we make it all the way here, it means every character was found. As soon as one character is not found, we return false. So down here, that means every character is there. Let's verify it. Refresh over here. Is pangram. I'll pass in this string, although there is a problem with this string. We have a capital T at the beginning. So I do need to update that for now to a lowercase t, and we get true. Let's try deleting a single letter. We now get false. Some other letter, still false. Okay, it appears to be working. 
Now let's make it work with all string casings. I don't know why I said all, with uppercase and lowercase letters. The easiest way to account for different casings is just to equalize them. So our string right here is all lowercase letters. So let's make sentence all lowercase as well. So let's call sentence dot to lowercase. But remember, this does not update sentence. The string itself is immutable. It returns a lowercase version of sentence. So let's save that to a variable. Let's call it lowercase. And then instead of doing sentence dot index of, we'll do lowercase dot index of. So all we did was now use a lowercase version of whatever sentence is passed in and compare it to only lowercase letters. And we could go the other way. We could make it all caps, and then this string would need to be A, B, C, D in all caps as well. Let's see if it works again. Here is the original, all lowercase, it still works. Let's make an uppercase Y, it still works. But if that Y is missing, it's false. It's not a pangram. Cool. There is another small change we could make. Instead of using index of, we could use a different method, like includes. Includes is great, but the downside is it's not supported in IE, Internet Explorer. It's a newer method. But let's just write it anyway. I think it makes the code easier to read. Instead of this index of equals negative one, we could rewrite it as lowercase dot includes character, but we want to say if it does not, include that character return false. In my opinion, this is a little cleaner than index of character equals 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 negative one. It's not a big deal, obviously, but since includes is a Boolean method, it returns true or false right away. We don't have to do a comparison and we'll return false if the string does not include it. Let's make sure it works. It does. We remove that Y. It does not work. We'll put the Y back and remove something else. If we add in extra characters, as long as I put that I back, it still should work. We're not looking for a perfect pangram. All right.